today with a bowl workout. For today's workout, we're going to be working with a bowl. If you don't have one, feel free to use the couch. If you have a bed, obviously, um, use your bed. Use anything that elevates your movement. We're going to do a full body workout. We're going to do upper body. We're going to do abs. And we're going to hit those glutes because you know your girl loves glutes. So we're going to start with a banger. We're going to be working for 60 seconds, resting for 30 seconds. Let's get right to it. It will be here. Comment down below if you need more guidance. If you need a specific movement that I did on this video that you just didn't understand, or maybe you need another side view, feel free to either comment down below. And if you're shy, for my shy girls, DM me. That's fine. I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate when you DM, when you tag me. It's all for love. Let's get right into the workout. So I'm chatting too much lately. We are beginning with a warm-up, which should always consist of dynamic exercises and should not excel more than six minutes. Now, our initial exercise is the wide lap pull-down. Ensure that your abdominal muscles are engaged and that you are consistently breathing throughout each movement. This should focus on your proper breathing and core engagement will help you get the most out of your warm-up and your workout. If at any time you feel pain while sitting on the exercise ball, please stop and stand up or find a more comfortable seating option. I'm gonna move right to ball skull crushers. When I tell you this is one of my favorite moves, I always say that, but this is one of my favorite moves. I want you to focus on all of your force coming from your upper body. Your ball shouldn't be moving around. Your abs should be as tight as a zipper. Think about sipping in, think about sipping up your stomach and you really engage the abs your feet should be grounded to the ground no moving just all of your force all of your concentration should be coming from your upper body as well as stabilization keeping your core tight i know that doing the hip circles on a ball I look weird, especially in the gym, especially as a female. Um, so get up. If you want to do it, you get up and you just do your hip circles. Hip circles are extremely important. Most of the people that I know have a hip problem. So this simple ball will kind of help you reduce that injury, reduce that pain, and just re reduce all of that contraction that you might feel, that tension. Because the ball, because you're sitting, basically, so the ball has that weight. You're just moving your hips. This movement right here, it looks weird, but if you do it in the winter time, if you just warm up your muscles before going out there, simple. Movements like this can really make a difference throughout the winter time. I live in New York, so it's, it gets very cold. But I'm telling you that moving your body before hitting the street or going outside really really helps so if you have tension in your knees and your hips i will i will recommend you to stretch your muscles before going outside if you have arthritis i do not recommend you to work out in the morning it's going to be extremely painful as a trainer if i am training a client that has arthritis I would not train with them in the morning, unfortunately. Because when you first wake up, I don't have arthritis, but I'm pretty sure it's painful. So throughout the day, your muscles will reduce the tension, relax, and then you can actually work on them. Next move, we're gonna do two sets of each movement. So what I am going to suggest is to combine this workout with one of my other workouts. I think you will really, 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 you will really feel the burn and you can really start targeting those muscles that you want to target. Any content, I always repeat myself in all my videos, any content that you need help with, any muscles that you need help with, and any questions that you might have, feel free to comment, feel free to DM me. I get a lot of DMs about fitness questions. Um, don't be shy, feel free to comment down below. If you don't, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe because you gotta support your girl. You already know what's up. Let's get to it. Go crush it. 
So right now you're starting your workout, you just finished your warm up and you're gonna do three sets of 15. Now this might look similar to your warm up, you're just adding dumbbells. This is a great format to get your muscles ready for the actual exercises. So you're actually using the same muscle as a warm up to go in during your strength training section. We're then moving on to chest flies. Make sure that you don't go too heavy because although the workout is your full body, the, the main focus of this workout is meant to work on your stability and your core. I gave you the option to work for 60 seconds and rest for 30 or do three sets of 15. I already know how much reps I would do in 30, 60 seconds, which is why it equals the same thing as if it was set or if I was timing myself. So this was your upper body portion. We have two more where we focus on our upper body. But you have so much muscles that I, could, I couldn't pick all of them in one session, which is why you have different sessions, which is why you will have a split. But we're gonna go ahead to our abs, and I'm gonna show you the tool that I have for your abs. So when you're doing an ab exercise, you wanna always make sure that your whole body, your entire body is kinetic. You don't wanna get hurt, you don't wanna lower, you don't wanna hurt your lower back. So always pull your abs as tight as you can. Always listen to your body and always, always move slow. Body, mind, connection. If your neck starts to hurt or you feel discomfort, I put um, a second exercise is really for zone two, your abs, you're really gonna be working your abs. So feel free to try zone two if you feel like you wanna be challenged and you just don't feel comfortable doing the crunches. If you want to eliminate the ball and just get on the ground with a mat that's totally fine, it's up to your comfort level. We're moving right along to ball pass exercise. You also have the option to challenge yourself by doing zone two. Please keep in mind that if you do zone two, you are actually doing a hollow as well as holding the hollow hole. Whatever option you do choose, you're still gonna be working for 60 seconds and resting for 30. Now for the lower body session, I just started to start with the ball glute bridges because they're so good for your lower body. It really targets your glutes, your hamstring, as well as engaging your core and working on your stability, which is the goal of the whole entire workout. Make sure that you are squeezing your glutes as well as holding your core. If you're looking to progress your glute bridges, this is a great great progression this is nothing compared to your regular glute bridges after your 60 seconds work try to hold the bridge till failure and then go ahead and do bridge rollout if you could do the 60 seconds of the rollout please tag me i want to see i only did six my glutes were on fire i'm doing your rest i want you to either really rest and get ready for your next set so i usually do active rest if you want to do active rest that means that you are either, you're walking in place, you can even jog in place. Those are different type of active rest. You don't want to be active resting when you're going hard. You just want to do active rest. It could be from marching. You know, anything that keeps your heart elevated but not extreme, um, that's called active rest. So it's up to you. You could do active rest or you could just rest and get ready for your next set guys so this is your ball workout i gave you a bunch of different exercises and i did the format for you now what you gotta do is make sure to have your timer and time yourself to work for 60 seconds this workout you can do it three times a week if you're doing it three times a week you do want to start working with 60 seconds but then your goal be to be able to do this movement for 90 seconds and then you will rest for 60 seconds now I do a breath nothing new now I just want to put this out there um, I do have personal clients and I do have personal um, I do have personal programs I'm also no I'm also opening up a life coach program, meaning I'll be here to guide you through life. Why did I do this program? This is exactly 
Why? Because I feel like most of my clients need them more than just a physical trainer or need them more than a or need them more than a nutritional um guidance. They need them more. So I will be opening up a life coach program. Right now, as of right now, I don't want to close my fitness program. Um so I'm still taking applications and I'm still reviewing them. Thanks for everybody who sent me their, their application. Um, I am reviewing them. But as of right now, I do have the Life Coach. It's a new program. It has not started yet. But I will be talking about it more um, for those people who do or who do DM me about different programs or my, or my prices. I will for sure be reaching back out with you with the new flyer now. That will be in addition to everything that I already have with all my certifications. Um, life course will be a new one. So if you are interested, get yeah, ready because when it opens up, I'm only taking about six clients for the life coach. Um, I noticed that I do not go past six clients because I am so passionate about each and every one, and I'm so passionate about bettering my clients that I try to keep it to a minimum of six. Sometimes I take people because I really, really want to, I really want to be their guide or like I feel connected or I see myself in them. Or there's so many options why I will pick a client or open up a slide or open up my program. I'm gonna be honest, I am super booked. I am super packed, um, but I did welcome a client that's very special just because I love I love to guide people who I see potential, who I see purpose. So I opened up my slot just for them because I know they're gonna be amazing. But if you are interested, don't hesitate. Although I might not have a spot available, I will still send forms. You go complete them, send them back to me, I will review them and then we'll go from there. I'm just super excited to announce my life coach my life course program. I'll be guiding you guys to this crazy world. Guys, I hope you like this video. I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yo, share. Share the love. It's enough for everyone. Peace.